Cheers, welcome to Sandals Royal Bahamian here in Nassau, Bahamas. That's right, it is the sandals that you know and love for their all-inclusive adults-only experiences, and it is just a stone's throw away from our home state of Florida and the United States in general. We are here today for some very exciting experiences and exciting times. This resort is having its grand reopening today. That's right, the resort has been closed for almost two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and then a big refurbishment of the resort but for today's video we want to take you around our room and show you the accommodations that we have here at Sandals Royal Bahamian so let's go ahead and get it started let's begin the tour so we're here in the West Bay Village on the sixth floor which is the top floor of the West Bay building we are staying in a West Bay ocean view penthouse club level suite so you just tap your room key here, get the green light and open the door, break the seal. They usually put a seal right there to let you know that the room has been clean and sanitized for your use. Let's head inside. All right, so when we come inside, we have a couple of things right when we enter. First of all, we do have a pretty much a full length mirror right here mounted on the wall. Next to that is the uh, electrical box. Don't need anything for that, but you do have your emergency information, uh, evacuation information posted right there above that area. On the door you do have a peephole as well as a swing latch and your standard handle with a uh, deadbolt that you can turn and your do not disturb sign of course. Over here on the wall we have two lights. One is going to be above the mini bar area which we'll get to in just a second and the other one is going to be for this bathroom area here. That light right up there on the ceiling. So when we enter the bathroom area the first thing we'll see on the left is our closet. We have additional pillows and blankets things like that. Iron, all your hangers, your hanging rod, of course our sandals robes. <laughs> Gotta love having those. Our ironing board, luggage rack down below, and the safe. And it's a good size safe too. You can definitely put many laptops in there. Maybe get a desktop if you were creative. <laughs> nice wooden doors there you can close off if you don't want to be looking into the closet. Now across from that is our sink and vanity area. So down below we do have a little shelf here, a little drawer, or little shelf area and then a couple of pull-out drawers at the bottom. One as you can see there has the hair dryer. This one is empty. So you can store some things down there. We do have a towel rack going across our counter here, some glasses, tissue, of course your soap, and then your toiletries, which are gonna be the Red Lane Spa. These are amazing. I love these. These are some of the best products I've ever used, um, and they, you get them in every sandals room, and, and they're fantastic. It's made from their spa, that is Sandal Spa, Red Lane Spa, and it's uh, really great stuff. Right now they're throwing in some hand wipes and some hand sanitizer as well. Up top here we do have like a makeup, mirror can pull out man this has like a lot of extension and turn turn radius there and you can even put the light on that's built into it and then we have our mirror mounted up above that has the built-in lighting very nice very modern very sleek now turning back around we do have a light switch here that is for the light inside the toilet and shower room of course this door would close off if you would prefer to have some privacy there as we head inside, first thing on the right, we will find our toilet area with the trash can and some nice art up above. And that is where our light is for this room. Over here in the middle, we do have a towel rack mounted to the wall. And then this cool little bench that has extra towels, washcloths, and things like that stored on it. Come around the corner of the door here and we will find our shower. You see it has some built-in lights there as well. So a nice walk-in shower with the glass door here. Uh, glass partition, actually. There actually isn't a door. You just go right inside like this. Woohoo! So we got our shower head uh, up at the top here. Our handle, pretty standard fare, but nice tile throughout. You do have an additional handle to help you get in and out. And then some built-in glass shelves there in the, uh, in the alcove area for storage. There is a light here, but looks like, but that's not coming on. It may just not be working. It is a reopening of the resort, so everything's not gonna fully function. No uh, rain shower head in here though, just the standard, but very, very nice tile shower. 
Right next to the bathroom, we will find our mini bar area because this is a club level room. We will get uh, coffee, tea, juice, soda, waters, and then Robert Mondavi wines. It looks like we have some champagne here and as well as some uh, liquor. Now, if you are in a butler level room, you will actually get the premium liquors included with this setup. And the butler can take your preferences before you arrive and stock your fridge down below with whatever you would like in terms of that aforementioned soda, juice, beer, different kind of things. They have some tonic water, ginger ale. If you want to make yourself a cocktail of some kind, you can do that here. We have the wine glasses, the tall glasses, the short glasses, even almost like a little shot glass that they have the, the stirring sticks in right there. Ice bucket, all the different things. And then we have the, the uh, coffee pot and tea kettle here and all the accoutrement that will come with that. So now we'll enter the main part of our room here. As you can see, it is quite beautiful. So let's just go step by step here and take a look. So here we have a light switch. This also controls the light above the mini bar, just like the one at the entrance does. And next to that is our thermostat for our air conditioning. I think the art that they've hung up in here. Got some different ones, different pieces all across the room. I really like that one, nice and colorful over there. So we have our king size bed here in the middle. On this side, we do have a nightstand that has our phone and pad and pen. Uh, both sides here on the nightstand and on the desk over there, you can see they have these same exact lamps with these switches uh, at the bottom. There's also a USB plug at the bottom as well, which is nice to know. The nightstand itself does have three pullout drawers there. Very good. Also wanted to point out that under the bed is completely open, so you can store luggage down there should you choose to do so. Of course, this is the, what do they call it, like a four post bed. So we have our nice bed here, I love the headboard, and we do have this very long bench here at the end of the bed, uh, which also has a storage shelf down beneath it, which is pretty cool. Over here on the other side, as I mentioned, we do have the desk with this like soft padded, look, almost looks like an ottoman. I guess you could use it as an, as an ottoman, but could also be used as a little stool, a little seat there for the desk, which does have these two pull out drawers. Nothing inside. Up top, you will find some literature about the resort and about the platinum protocols of cleanliness. Sandals is really pushing to make things safe, clean, and uh, just welcome you here the best way that they can. Up above, we do have a little mirror surrounded by oyster shells. As I mentioned, we have the same lamp that we saw on the other side with the switch at the bottom and the USB plug. And then we do have an iHome here in the middle. It looks like it has a couple of plugs as well, USB on the sides there, and then all of the different buttons to control it. I wanted to point out, people always ask about outlets. Maybe you have a CPAP machine or something. You can see there is one there. You'd have to to unplug something to use that there's one on the other side as well and sandals resorts do utilize standard like american outlets so you don't need if you're traveling from america you don't need to bring uh, an adapter or anything like that we do have a trash can here and then our couch very very nice i want to point out there are uh, some plugs back here on uh, on the wall as well light switch there for the balcony light we'll get to that in just a minute wanted to point out here uh, but before we spin around that we do have our big blackout privacy curtains and then we do have day shears as well that go across the entire span here of our balcony entrance. You can see double sliding glass doors in the middle there and then floor to ceiling windows on the side. We'll get to the balcony in just a bit. Want to finish the rest of the room though. Right here we do have a nice table and chair set and they were kind enough to give us some little flower petals here. Nice little welcome letter. A bottle of Prosecco, which we're not going to drink, but very, very appreciated that they that they placed this here, as well as the club sandals in-room dining menu. And then one last area in the room here, we do have our dresser and our television up top. So the dresser is going to have the three larger drawers on either side, two smaller drawers on either side, and then this in the middle is also a drawer that you can pull out. And then it's just the TV up above. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but nice, a good setup. That's a good size TV, of course, pointed right at your bed. You could spin it like that and point it right over here 
to the couch. So viewing from all angles. Also wanted to point out that down here below the table and chairs, you do have another standard outlet. There's an outlet behind the dresser where the television plugs in as well, but there's only one thing being used, which is the TV. So there's an extra outlet back there. And then there's one here when you come into the main area of the room as well. So lots of plugs, lots of different options that you can use if you need to plug in your devices or anything else. And with that said, let's go ahead and head outside and check out our balcony. All right, so we come out on our balcony here and I'm not even gonna make you wait for it. Just a look at that view. Sunshine hitting those blue, green, turquoise, aquamarine, seafoam colors of the, of the water there. Absolutely gorgeous. That is Sandals uh, private island over there, the Royal Bahamians private island. So you take a ferry over to that during the day. They have part of the spa over there. They have a restaurant. You can snorkel, go to the beach, do stuff like that over there. So we're getting that view uh, as well as the pool down here and the rest of the resort you can see over to the East Bay. You can do see some tops of buildings here, which maybe isn't the most luxurious view, but uh, off in the distance you can see Bahamar uh, Resort and then way off in the distance here, I'll try to zoom in as best I can. So right about uh, there, that's Atlantis. And then this is the cruise port right there actually is the uh, Scarlet Lady Virgin Voyages that we sailed on back in October. You can see that from this room as well. So that's really, really cool. Kind of go over the features of the balcony. And as I mentioned, we have our sea turtle art here. You do have a little hanging peg there on that side, as well as on this side, if you want to put your robes up when you come out. and. Do have that light that's uh, for the switch that I showed inside. And then down below we have our table and two chairs. So pretty good sized balcony. Love the view of the pool. You'd see the new swim up suites down below. That's the pool for those. And then right out to that gorgeous water. Look, someone parasailing right now. I, it's kind of hard to beat a view like that. All right, friends, that is going to do it for our video tour of our room here at Sandals Royal Bahamian. You can hear the party going on behind us. It is a celebration. Finally, after two long years, Royal Bahamian is back open. Everyone's gonna be here having a great time, and you could be too. We can help make that happen. As travel agents, we partner with Sandals directly. We love our relationship with them. They wanna take care of you, and so do we. It's completely free to you, so feel free to reach out via that travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. You can also visit our website, hopinhappytravels.com, and contact us there. If you've recently booked your stay at Sandals within the past two weeks, you can transfer your booking to our agency that is completely free of, uh, free of charge as well, and we would love to help you either way. If you're interested in more information here at Sandals Royal Bahamian in Nassau, Bahamas, feel free to check out the rest of our videos in our playlist. You can find that on our YouTube channel. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We hope we'll see you on the next one. But we're going to sign off for today. See you next time. Happy travels!